All right, you prehistoric, futuristic zombie ninjas. Your time has come. Oh, God. I don't think I can take them all. Oh, no! Cut. I say, that was a lovely shoot. You all did wonderful. Yeah, but you need to work on your American accent. You sound nothing like me. Like, I'm gonna do any of this. T-Shot! T-Shot! That's Mr. Shot to you! Yes, yes, sorry Mr. Shot. But I think I have found the perfect way to grab as much money as physically possible while doing barely any work and having no passion at what we do. Oh sweet, what's the plan? Oh sorry, wait one second. Ah uh, yeah, guys, you can all go home, you're all fired. Go on. We need to make video games. What? I was just making a movie. I would probably make way more doing that. Do not cut me off! Whoa, geez, calm down. I'm sorry. So what kind of video games are we gonna make? The kind that takes no creativity, no original ideas have to be made, because we already have the characters and settings and story all made for us. What kind is that? Video games based off movies. It's foolproof. People love movies. People love video games. Put that together, and you hit the jackpot, baby! Let's do this! Spare chain. Spare change, sir? Oh god, I hate my life. People who make movies, I just want to be real with you for a second. I I'm just going to say this once. Do not turn your movies into video games. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. It's a waste. It's just waste. It's pure shit. I'm serious. Why do they turn movies into games? It honestly baffles my mind. I mean, does anyone really buy these? Have any of you gone to GameStop and actually been like, Oh, sweet. How to train your dragon for the Nintendo Wii. I gotta have this. And been non-ironic. I highly doubt it if you're above the age of six or not frank don't be like frank frank's a loser now today we're gonna be looking at some of these games i honestly don't think these deserve to be called games i'm just gonna call them what they really are cash grabs now today is probably gonna be the first time any normal person with a full functioning brain has ever laid eyes on these cash grabs so i would suggest you wear the proper equipment so that the radiation doesn't roast your buns now i personally don't need a hazmat suit i mean i sat through the whole movie of ratted towing you think the radiation has any effect on me anymore now with these cash grabs I didn't want to just look at the ones that are obviously going to be horrible, like B-Movie for the Wii. I wanted to go way down the rabbit hole and find some that look like they could have potential, but just bomb with the execution. So let's begin with a classic, Fantasia for the Sega Genesis. <laughs> Whoa, now that's some cool title music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I honestly love it when games do that. It always cracks me up. Because all I picture in my head is this. <clears throat> so we immediately get dropped off into a bunch of chaos. And so far, this game actually seems pretty good. I'm glad I didn't go the stupid poopy route and actually make the bad guys villains from the movie. It's a good thing they didn't go the home improvement route. Nobody should go the home improvement route. <gasps> but yeah, with that all said, this game is a bunch of bullcrap. There's enemies everywhere and the only thing you have to defend yourself is magic zappy doodles and it takes two hits to kill them and you only have seven, so once you run out, you're completely defenseless. Oh God, I have no idea how to get more power. You would think just grabbing these blue orbs, but no, of course not. The orb of magic doesn't give you magic. It gives you squabble. It gives you freaking squabble. Ow. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, oof. Ah, oh, crap. I got hit by one of these freaking flying bow. Wait a second. That's how I get more magic? From the flying books that look like bad guys? No, no, it, it can't be true. No, no, it, it can't freaking be true. No, it can't be true. Why? No, no, seriously. Why? Why on earth would I even think about touching one of those things? I mean, this is a game where freaking walking brooms hurt me. Why would I think a freaking book flying at my face would do anything but hurt me? Oh, oh, that actually felt pretty good. But yeah, overall, not the worst game on this list. If you get over the fact that it's complete horse radish, you'll probably have a good old time playing this one. So let's move on to another classic. The Wizard of Oz for the Super Nintendo. What? The Wizard of Oz. And man, that constant clicking in the 
background never gets annoying. Stop! Oh, that Miss Gulch is a mean old bitch. I mean, uh, witch. Witch. She's a mean old witch. And by the way, is she saying this while unconscious? Man, you must really need to hate someone a lot to subconsciously talk crap about them. Um, oh, oh, okay, Dorothy. I, I think this is a pretty good time to wake up now. I mean, seriously, is she in a coma? Not only is her dog barking directly into her ear, but there's literally a tornado five feet away from her. And she's just like, eh, five more minutes, please. I need my beauty sleep. Oh, oh, there she goes. Uh, yep, she's dead. Oh, I, I guess not. She just landed in the middle of a random yellow brick road with a giant bubble princess. A giant bubble what now? Oh, there's another one too. Oh, the Wicked Witch is a bubble too. Oh, no, that's cool. I've seen the movie. Uh, that's totally how it is. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm about to get a toothpick. <laughs> So basically, you guys all know the film. Dorothy has the ruby slippers. The bubble wicked witch wants them. And her little dog, too, that she doesn't have. Must have lost him in the tornado. He's dead now. Oh, well, let's play. So, um, uh, Dorothy, you okay there? Uh, can, uh, can I get you some water or, uh, maybe a normal looking face? So I guess you can shoot these blocks of gold out of your wand that I guess Dorothy has now. And right off the bat, they get everything wrong. One, the trees don't throw lemons at Dorothy. Okay, they throw apples. And two, these trees aren't even throwing the lemons. The lemons just grow a face and kamikaze dive bomb onto Dorothy. What has this little girl done to these lemons that they would take their own lives just to harm her? Well, when life gives you lemons, am I right? Lemon party. Ice and demons. Oh, okay, you guys saw that. The bird was coming straight for me. It, it was self-defense, you guys. You guys would testify for me, right? So, um, right. I didn't know that when the good witch of the north told me to follow the yellow brick road, I didn't know it was going to be so freaking boring. I mean, the only thing in this level that is the smallest of threats to me not completing it is lemons. Just dive bombing lemons. Okay, maybe it gets harder the more you play. Let's go on to the next level. What? 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 Is, is that a cactus? Is that a cat cactus? But, but, but why? Why is he in this game? Why am I playing this game? Why has God forsaken us? So I guess the name of this level is called Gamboge Gorge. For some reason, don't really know why that is. I can't feel my legs. And by the way, that clicking that I addressed in the beginning doesn't go away. It's always there. I think it actually got louder now, which is impressive. Wowee. <laughs> now this, this is one tough game. I had to like crouch to kill that cactus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I almost got hit that time. I almost felt a breeze that that time. So yeah, you know what happens when you challenge this game's intelligence and hardness? It just says, you know what? Screw you. I'm gonna make this impossible. No, I mean, look at this. I'm trying to jump across these rock pillars, but sometimes the rock is just like, yeah, I don't feel like existing right now. You know what? Screw this game. This game's too hard. On to the next game. I'm mad. Since we're doing pretty well with all these classic movies having awful games, I think we should check out one of my favorite movies of all time, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? And oh boy, is this one bad. So this is just one of those games that drops you off with no context, no instructions of what to do or how to play. You just gotta be a detective and figure it out for yourself. So yeah, you know how the movie was groundbreaking and it had an amazing story, characters, terrifying villains, and so many cartoon character cameos? Yeah, all that is gone in this game. There's no cartoon characters. There's barely any story. The villains are kind of scary, but that's only because if they catch you, it's an instant death. How is this supposed to have anything to do with this? This is a sin. This game is an actual sin. You game designer or sinners. So basically all you do in this game is just walk into a building, ask if there's any clues in this building, and if there's not, you just walk out and try again. Well, but if this is a game, then game on, I like to say. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Like there's nothing to do in this stupid, worthless piece of crap game. Oh, oh, I think I just found something we can do. <laughs> Get him, yeah! Run him over! Hit him! Get the monster trucks! Yeah! It's too easy! It's too easy! My legs! My freaking legs! Oh god, all I see is purple. So I finally found the building with the clue in it. Okay, try searching in this building. Alright. Check this desk. Nothing. Check this desk. Nothing. Check this desk. Freaking nothing! Why are you lying to me? Okay, maybe it's in this room. Okay, let me check in here. Cheese? 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 I ask you if you can help me in a murder investigation, and you say, Yeah, I bet there's cheese in here. What? What is wrong with you? Eventually, I found the club that I was supposed to go to, and I talked to Jessica Rabbit, and she tells me to go find her phone number, and it's actually a real number. Okay, um, let's call it up. You have dialed a number that is not available from your calling area. Well, crap. <laughs> I can't believe she gave me a fake phone number. How could she? Now how am I gonna find who framed Roger the sandwich? It was that guy. That guy did it. Anyways, that's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And do you guys mind if I geek out for a second? So Super Smash Bros. was just announced for the Switch a couple days ago. And I'm so 
freaking excited. Smash Bros. games have been getting better and better in my opinion, and I can't wait to see all the newcomers. And I know some people are saying, oh, it's just the port. It's not a real game. You shut up. It is. It is a real game. At least I hope so. I mean, the Inklings were just confirmed, so it's gonna have new characters. And basically all the new Smash Bros. game is just new characters and new stages. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be its own game, but who knows? But with that all said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.